As it is well known, George Washington is the father of our country. But there is a man here who comes in a close second as a father, I will tell you. This man's book uh, is only outsold in the history of books by one other. The top selling book in the world is the Bible. The second best seller belongs to Dr. Spock, his books on child care. Lately, Dr. Spock has widened his range and often speaks out about politics and our foreign policy. And he is here today. Would you welcome Dr. Benjamin Spock? You must have been a big baby. <laughs> yes, you're a very tall gentleman. I was this tall by 12. <laughs> Were you really, Doctor? Yeah. They used to call me the skeleton in armor when I wore uh, long woolen underwear, which we used to wear back in the 1910s. With a trapdoor? Yeah. With a yeah trap door. <laughs> I have read your book, Doctor, and I, I am floored and always have been by how you call your shots. You, this is hypothetical, of course, but you as much as say in your book, at two months and two months, uh, two years and two months, uh, your child will pick up the crayons, head for the wall, and scribbled all over them. And to the day, the child picks up the crayons, goes to the wall, and, and you sit there in a minute and say, that son of a gun, Dr. Spock. How do you know that? But then you're prepared for the future. That's amazing. Well, I give lots of leeway, you know. I, I set those different things for relatively dull children. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm going right home after the show and beat him up. <laughs> how many did it take, do you estimate, how many children to research to get the facts you've come up with? Well, I used to practice pediatrics in New York City from about 1933 until 1947. That's where I learned everything that I knew. I was a New Yorker then. Ah. You're now in, living in the Middle West, yes, near I, Columbus, isn't it? Or? Not quite. Cleveland. It's Cleveland. Yeah. Cleveland, right. Uh, I'm, um, I'm a professor of child development at Western Reserve Medical School. Right, right. What about the toys the children are playing with today? What do you feel about them? Some of them are marvelous, and uh, a lot of them are rather murderous, I think. Uh, I used to think that it didn't matter what toys children played with, and I used to tell parents who worried about that uh, war pistols and war toys would make their children gangsters or militarists. I used to poo-poo that, but uh, I really changed my mind to some degree. I don't think you can change a good child to a, to a scoundrel by letting him uh, play with pistols. One of the people who changed my mind was a, a uh, nursery school teacher that I respect very much, and she said that after the Three Stooges program became popular, that nursery school children began bopping each other quite spontaneously. <laughs> uh, and uh, she would say, you can't do that. He didn't do anything to you. And they said, the Three Stooges do. Uh, to be serious about it, it made me realize that uh, by watching brutality or by watching pseudo-brutality, children's ideas of what is proper, what's acceptable, really can be changed, at least to a degree. Now, my own feeling is that with the world in the precarious state it is in, uh, with nuclear destruction uh, just around the corner, that we've got to bring up our children much more civilized and much more constrained about the use of aggressiveness. So that my own feeling is now children shouldn't watch brutality or even pseudo-brutality, especially when they're pre at the preschool age. But I, things like Batman. That's different. Is that different? That's I fun. That. I, also, I also think that though I wouldn't snatch pistols away from all children, because I wouldn't dare in a country like this where all boys play with uh, pretend pistols up to the end age of uh, nine, I still think that it's better for parents to decline to buy them for their children, you know, make them buy them with their own money and tell them, uh, I believe people need to get along in a more friendly way with each other uh, to hold the world together. And so I don't believe in buying you uh, pistols.